Tourist Tiger Nation, Martin Chuck here, and what a couple of great weeks happening on the PGA Tour right now. You had Rory McIlroy win the Canadian Open, amazing, you know, kind of head to head duel there. Tony Finau and Justin Thomas coming down the last few holes. One of my favorite courses in my hometown, Toronto, at St. George's. And then the U.S. Open at the Country Club in Brookline. Wow, Matt Fitzpatrick. You know, just, uh, just a grind with Will Zalatoris. Rory was in that one too. I mean, Scotty Scheffler, what an awesome event. Now let's talk about Matt Fitzpatrick. He won the U.S. Amateur 2013, and then he wins the U.S. Open there. Now the big, big thing was he really embraced the need for him to add some speed to his golf swing. You know, adding speed is tough. I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm on a 30-day speed challenge. If you want to follow me on that, just go to my social channel, channels, uh, Martin Chuck PGA on Instagram. You can kind of learn more about that. But the, the, when you, the differences in his swing are fascinating. You know, in order to go from the top of the swing back to the ball faster, typically needs some more stretch cycle in your swing, meaning that to hit it far, an element needs to wind up so that you're kind of wound so you can respond and unwind. You know, and watching Fitzpatrick smash it, it was, it was quite awesome. Like, I can't even pretend to swing and get the ball speed he has. I'm lucky to get close to 160. He was getting 180 ball speeds in the U.S. Open and finding fairways, and he's not that big a dude. He's maybe my size, and, and Rory's about the same, and they're Phenomenal. Now the, the motion they have that hits it. Let me hit one and we'll talk about it. You know, so there's a nice smoked shot for me. And and, and being honest, I'm gonna say that's like maybe tapping around 160 ball speed. So you can imagine 180 ball speed, 20 more miles an hour of ball speed is about equates to about 2.5 yards per mile an hour. So you know there's around 50 yards they're gonna hit it farther than me. And that ball is going to fly eh, 265, 70, and maybe roll to 300, which is darn good. I mean, I could be their fathers, but y you get my point. Now, Tourist Trigger Nation, what I want you to do, okay, is we have to learn to swing this freely above the ground. I see so many of you come to the golf camp, and this is what the, your practice swing looks like, or better, sounds like. Listen. And then another, maybe. I hear two thud thuds or a thud with a driver, the driver hitting the ground. And I scratch my head and I ask the student, I go, why are you hitting the ground with your driver? And they look at me, they don't know the answer. They just like the tactile feel of thumping something. I get it. Collect the ball, thump the tee, don't hit the ground. Here's what I want you feeling. The, embrace the swoosh, please. Hear that sound, hear that swoosh, because really, ultimately, that's all we're doing with the driver. We're swinging this through space, not ever touching the grass, ever. So, Tourist Trigger Nation, take a little page out of the, you know, the speed of these amazing players, okay? That we have to have a swoosh. No thump. The driver doesn't touch the ground. The driver's job is to collect the ball in its fast and fur furious manner, obviously with some control, but this is nothing about this is hitting the ground. So my practice swings never hit the ground because they shouldn't. And even on irons, I don't touch the ground because I don't like to grease up the face. And you're like, what are you talking about, Martin? Grease up the face. Well, when you hit the grass, grass is basically moisture. It's little bags of moisture. That moisture, moisture changes the impact dynamics, how the ball flies. So good players, if they do touch the grass, they always wipe their club off or clean it off. So anyway, practice swings don't touch the ground. They swoosh. Now let's put that swoosh onto a golf ball, Fitzpatrick style, which I never thought I'd say because he was way, way slower than the average bear before, but he's done some great work. So let's put some speed on this and give it a full send. And that's going to be well down the fairway, and we like that. So Tourist Circuit Nation, practice swings above the ground. Hear that swoosh. Collect that ball. Have more fun hitting it farther off the tee.